I think it's time. I think the need is out there. Um, I'm prepared for it in my personal life. I have my family's support. I've got uh, support in the community, and I really think I can make a difference here in Delaware for Delawareans in this election. Jobs is a very important issue because I think a lot of the other social problems, a lot of the issues we have, the budget issues all revolve around jobs. So having 30,611 in six-foot letters underscores that. We're also concerned about green energy, um, inefficient expensing that the, the the state has tried to pick winners and losers in the energy market and that has resulted in higher electrical costs and higher costs for Delawareans and also the crime issue. You know, people need to be safe in their homes. People need to be able to to know that when they get up in the morning and they go to work, they don't have to be worrying about crime along with all the other economic issues. So I think those are the three big issues that we're going to use um, in our campaign to really reach out to Delawareans up and down the state for their votes. We have to set some goals. You know, you know, in this elephant hunt where we're pursuing Fisker, it, it, it's much like uh, trying to get a young lady to go to the prom and you buy her a corsage and she says, I'll tell you tomorrow. Meanwhile, our corsage is wilting. Uh, and, and in my example, that corsage is the $19 million that we've put out. I just don't see how that's effective strategy. Uh, and I really think that's something that we neither, you know, need to admit we've made a mistake and the strategy doesn't work and put those resources into small businesses here in Delaware that are really the job creators. Um, and, 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 you know, when Delawareans pay taxes, they need to know that the governor and the state is a good steward of those dollars. And I just don't think this Fisker situation is planning out that way. I think if you have the same politicians run election after election and you have them switch from one chair to another chair, and you expect a different outcome, you're kidding yourself. If we're really going to have effective change, we need to change the players. Just moving the chairs around on the deck of the Titanic is not going to change where that boat's going.